All right, let's talk about 2020. We're here at the end of 2019. I'm shooting this video in November. And let's talk about 2020 and how you can guarantee you're gonna have success in your mortgage business moving into 2020. All right, what's going on? I'm Nick Carpenter from the Legion of Loan Officers. And I'm gonna share with you right now three ways that you can guarantee you can win on a higher level make more income, have more referral partners, make a bigger impact in your local market in 2020. And I'm gonna give you three really simple strategies today that anybody can implement and is gonna be able to take your consumer direct business to the next level, right? Everybody is always looking at um, how can I get more referral business? How can I get more, have more referral partners? Obviously referral partners are incredibly important to any mortgage business. But what I want to talk to you about today and how you can make sure to win in 2020 are these three simple things that you can do right now in order to be going and getting more consumer direct leads so that when you're going and you're talking to realtors, you're trying to attract more realtor partners, you can have actual value to bring to the table and you can have business and deals and clients and referrals to give back to the realtors without having to wait for them to give you the business, all right? So number one thing that you have to be doing every single month, every single day, is you need to be running some type of consumer direct advertisement. All right guys, so obviously I'm a huge fan of Facebook ads and Instagram ads. Been doing a lot of things on YouTube. Maybe when you watch this video here and you come back around to YouTube, maybe you're gonna see more of my ads. I don't know, right? Obviously in a perfect world, that would be, that would be awesome. But what we wanna do is show you how you can do the exact same thing using Facebook, using Instagram, using some of these platforms where it's super cheap, really easy learning curve, and you can be able to get out there and start having consumer direct ads helping and promoting your mortgage business, all right? So obviously for me, my preferred method, there, there's a lot of ways that you can get started with Facebook ads. My preferred method is to get started with Facebook ads is actually using a single property and taking a house and marketing a house on Facebook. Look, I understand you're a loan officer. I understand that you do your, you, you get paid and you live your life and your checks come because you do home loans, not because you sell properties. But also you need to understand that the average consumer, they don't wanna to talk to you about a home loan, right? Number one is the consumers are very confused about the process. They wanna to talk to a realtor a lot of times first. They wanna talk about a house first, all right? So when you can run a consumer direct ads, like I said, I'm a big proponent of running a single property ad, right? Partner with a realtor, Go to Zillow, find a for sale by owner, find a new construction, find a foreclosure, run that ad on Facebook as, a, as an ad, you know, run that house on Facebook as an ad in order to start generating some leads. Now, depending on how good you are on Facebook ads, these consumer direct ads can be building your database with hot prospects for anywhere from 50 cents to $5 a lead, right? So depending on, you know, how good you are, again, you know, that's gonna range anywhere from 50 cents, um, anywhere from 50 cents to $5 per lead, okay? And, you know, depending on, again, what you're running, for me, if I'm running a property ad, I'm usually trying to keep my cost per lead less than $3. Um, getting a dollar leads for houses is really simple. Getting a dollar lead for a mortgage is almost impossible, right? Um, a mortgage lead is gonna cost you five to $10, a property at lead is gonna cost you 50 cents to $2. And so usually for the same amount of money, we can go and be able to build and, and generate a huge database, right? We can take all those people off of Facebook and um, we can be able to take these consumer direct ads and we can go and grow our own database that we can control, that we can market to anytime that we want to. So I think everybody should be running some consumer direct ads. Now again, these ads, you know, with Facebook ads and Instagram ads, you're talking about top of the funnel. So a lot of times people on Facebook, they're gonna be up here, right? The people down here are gonna be the ones that are maybe, um, you know, that are interested in talking about a loan, right? And then you're gonna get the people down here that are like attending open houses and some of that kind of stuff, you know? Like obviously these people are gonna be way closer to the buying than these people up here, but you know, how much does it cost to get somebody to an open house? Well, a lot more than it does to get somebody to talk about a loan online and a lot more than it does for somebody to talk about a house on, online, right? So it all just depends on what your goals are. You know, again, these leads up here, these are gonna cost you a dollar, right? These leads down here are gonna cost you $5. And maybe these leads down here, 
would cost you a hundred dollars. You know, I don't know, right? But up here, if you're starting at, at just one dollar leads, you're going to build a huge database. You're going to have a lot of value to add. You're going to um, have a pool of people that you can market to over the next couple years um, and, and continually pull out deals. And from those $1 leads, almost every time we're converting anywhere from 1% to 4% up front. And so you're always going to make a profit running these ads, right? It's going to be profitable because even at a dollar, right? If, if I was to tell you right now, because based on these numbers, I know that for $100 or $200, you could generate a pre-approval. Would that be good for you, right? Leave a comment right now. Let, let me know in the comments. If you could get a pre-approved home buyer for every $200 you spend on Facebook ads, would you do that, right? Would you be willing to put up that budget? In most cases, almost 100% of people are gonna say yes, they just don't know what to put on Facebook, right? They don't know what kind of ads to run. So do this process right here. That's number one is you wanna be running some consumer direct ads, right? You need to be generating some leads. You have to have some value to bring back and come to the table with something other than just a handout, right? Now, when you do these consumer direct ads, the next thing you want to do is you want to put some retargeting in place, okay? So what does retargeting mean? Well, for retargeting, there's a few different levels and layers that you can use in terms of marketing your business today, okay? There's a really, really simple way that you can retarget on Facebook and you can be able to get in front of every person that kind of uh, either really knows, likes, and trusts you or sort of knows you, has heard of you once, right? Any of these kind of things. I'm going to show you how to build that audience right now, okay? So number one is you need to take your database and you need to download your database from wherever you have it and you need to put it into a CSV file. And if you go into Facebook ads, you go into Facebook ads and go into the audience manager, you can upload that CSV as a custom file. And now you've got your database of people that know, like, and trust you from your, um, from your CRM. Now you've got them into uh, Facebook as a custom audience. So now if you upload videos and you run some different content, you can keep yourself relevant. Or, you know, if you're a loan officer, you can keep your realtors relevant right on, on Facebook in front of their database. Audience number two is going to be anybody that engages with your page. Okay, so this is going to be anybody who likes, comments, shares, private messages, the page, any of those things, you can create an audience off of people that engage the page. Okay. Your next one is going to be off of people who watch your videos. So in Facebook, you can also create an audience of people inside the ads manager of people who have watched any percentage of your videos on your Facebook business page. So you can decide what that percentage is, right? If it's as low as three seconds or 10 seconds, or if it's as high as 95% of the video watched. Now you can take an audience and just make, you know, um, three seconds, right? Or 10 seconds and use those people. And now you're going to have a hu another huge audience of people that watch those videos. The fourth audience that you want to create, again, this is a CSV of your database here. All right. And then, so you got your CSV from your database. You've got your page likes and then, um, your page engagement. You've also got your page likes. And then finally, you've got your website. All right, so if you go into Facebook Ads Manager, they have a, it's called the Facebook Pixel. And you can download that Pixel, put it on your website. Uh, if you're not sure how to do that, find a tech person that can help you with it. And now everybody that goes to your um, personal website is gonna get tracked by Facebook, okay? So now you can have these five audiences right here and you can create retargeting to these five audiences, okay? So what do you do? How do you retarget those five audiences? What are you gonna do so you can make sure that you win and you're gonna get the most uh, benefit from the marketing that you're doing in 2020, okay? So you're gonna, my suggestion is that you create three different videos, okay? You got video number one, video number two, and video number three. Now, if you're a loan officer, what I recommend, and again, if you like this comment, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Give me a comment right now and let me know what is your average daily Facebook ad budget. I will come and re-comment back to everybody who comments on the video. Let me know what's your budget and how you're spending that money, and I'll make some suggestions. Maybe there's some better ways, right? Um, so this is just an example of what you could do with, with three videos on a simple retargeting budget. And all you got to do is put $1 a day. So we're talking about $99 a month for this retargeting budget. All right, video number one 
is why you love being a loan officer, okay? What is, why did you get into business? What is it that you love the most about being a loan officer? You know, when do you get the highest high being, being in the mortgage business? All right, you should share that. This is like a one minute video. Video number two is gonna be teaching something, all right? A really easy example is the number one misconception of home buyers is that you have to put down 20%. And obviously, if you look at your own personal business, you'll see that the majority of people probably aren't putting down 20%, right? So you can bust that myth. Number three can be a testimonial video, right? Of a client talking about you. It can also be a call to action video where you're like, hey, you know, if you want to talk about what's next in your process of buying a house, you know, I don't know exactly where you're at. I'd love to have a chat with you, all right? And you can have your, your link to your calendar, depending on what online, you know, if you have an online calendar program that you're using where people book appointments. Um, so these videos, right, really simple. This is literally $1 per day per video. And now you've got these ads going out constantly over and over to everybody that's engaged with you anywhere online, your website, your Facebook page, your Facebook ads, your organic content, right? Really simple process. And then now this is going to continually keep you where you're going to be known in the local market. You're going to be staying relevant, top of mind with people. And you're going to see this has a huge, huge impact on your business. And we're literally talking about spending, you know, $3 a day um, on that process. All right. Then number three is you need to have a database marketing plan. Okay. Look, everybody knows and then people will say this all the time, like, oh, the database is your gold mine, right? The it, that's that's really like the honey hole, but yet nobody really has a plan. People go and they rely on their company to create the content or they rely on outside sources to find the content, but your life and what you have going on in your personal life and your business is interesting enough to people. And that's really what that follow-up content should be about, right? It's about creating a better relationship with people. You don't have to continually demonstrate your expertise or show people how hard you work. Sometimes it's just about getting people to know you better. You know what I mean? Think about your favorite YouTuber. If you're on here and you're watching content, you think about your favorite YouTuber, right? It probably has way more to do with their personality than their actual training or their actual content, you know? People are the same way with you. Or think about your favorite celebrities, your favorite music musicians and things. If some of that has to do more with their personality and the things that you know about them than it does with the actual content uh, you know, on the music side, right? So you can do the same thing. Um, by by just having a really simple plan. Um, I think that a, an easy plan to do is every Thursday in the afternoon, ideally like between 1 and 3 p.m., send an email out to your database. This can be a regular email. This can be a bomb bomb email if you want to do videos. But send a message out every Thursday. What that's going to do is people that are ready to do something, they're going to put their hands up in the air, right? It's going to give you Friday to get them pre-approved. The weekend, you can actually go start showing them houses. So it's pretty awesome. Um, definitely a great plan when you do this on Thursday afternoons. It's also a time that people are kind of at the office and they're looking for distractions, right? They're already thinking about the weekend and it's just a great opportunity. You can get in front of people and stay top of mind with them. And especially if your emails are personal, right? You're not relying on somebody else to write them or create the content. You just tell things like client stories, tell a funny story that you had or share a client testimonial. Um, talk about something that's going on in your personal life and how that could impact the people that are reading the email, right? If you need some ideas, you know, we have this sort of content inside the Legion of Loan Officers and love to share that with you. You can check that out, legionofloanofficers.com. And uh, yeah, like I said, if you like this plan, please put this into place. Come back and tell us what you did and tell us about the work that you're doing. And we'd love to hear about your success, all right? Make sure you give a like on this video. Give us a comment down there below. What's your number one takeaway? What are, what are you gonna go do first? And make sure you subscribe, hit the bell button so you can get all the notifications as we push out new videos every single week and uh, see you on the next one later.